You're a liar! You were never going back to prison. Mr. Monk? You were going to Paraguay. That's why you came to me. You couldn't leave until I cleared your name. Okay, look, Adrian, I swear... Just admit it, Jack! Just... Can you please... Just, just once... Just, just, just for the novelty of it. Wait, I, I don't understand. He's your pen pal, right? He's my half-brother. He's Jack Jr. Oh, my God, Jack. A.K.A. Joe Endicott. The fugitive? Oh, my God. So, oh, my God. But you killed that woman? No. No, he's not a killer, but he's practically everything else. God. I want my check back. What? What is that? He said he's building an orphanage in Quebec. Uh, okay, you know what? I am relieved that this happened. I really am. Let's talk about this. No more BS. No more lies, okay? Hand to God. God doesn't want to see your hand. What is that? What? That watch. I've seen it before. In Lindsay Bishop's apartment. You stole that watch! They haven't even buried her yet, and you're wearing her watch? Oh, my God. Okay, first off, wasn't her watch, so it doesn't count. It's a guy's watch. Okay, here, look. Take it back. It's not even my style. You are the most selfish human being on the planet. You don't care about anyone or anything. Is he okay? He just solved the case. What year is it? Mr. Monk. Natalie, I was harboring a fugitive. I was trying to keep you out of it. Yeah, but see, we're partners. You're supposed to trust me. I couldn't trust him. That was the problem. I still don't. Ah, oh, Mr. Reese. My name is Adrian Monk. I remember you, the consultant. That's right. That's right. You remember my assistant, Natalie, and, uh, and uh, Jack, my pen pal. Yeah, the pen pal. What can I do for you? Oh, uh, well, we think that Lindsay Bishop had a fornication partner. We found this wristwatch in her apartment. A fornication partner? Yeah, it's a, it's a man's watch and it's engraved. LB to DR. It's not mine. Must be a dozen DRs working at the prison. Only three, actually. So you got two more to go. Did you ever see Miss Bishop outside of work? No, ma'am, I did not. I have a wife and kid and I'm trying to hang on to both. And... How do you know this uh, fornication partner even works at the prison? We assume because... That's, that's, that's a good point. We, we should keep looking. Well, that's it, I guess. Sorry, buddy. Thanks again. He's the guy. Just keep on. Don't look back. Don't well, look back. We have two other names on no, the... No, 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 no. The spoon in his hand is sterling silver. Has the same lettering as the one that killed Lindsay Bishop. Are you sure? I'm 80% sure he's the guy. I'm 95% sure! <laughs> your cell phone! In my purse! Thank God! Which is in the car! Hey! That's my gun! What? Oh, yeah. No, I borrowed it. And be glad I did. Will somebody please tell me what's going on? Reese and Lindsay Bishop were having an affair. They were the fornicators. Things must have gone bad. Maybe she threatened to tell his wife. All we know for sure. Oh, God. He wanted her gone. It was a setup from the beginning. He was going to kill his mistress and make it look like an inmate did it during an escape. Yeah, he went to Shim. It was a perfect choice. The guy's a real moron. It worked. 
Shiv took the bait. Please tell Shiv how to go, where to go, and most importantly, when to go. It had to be Monday night, three o'clock. That night, he killed Lindsay Bishop in the parking lot. Then he reported for duty, took his position in the guard tower, and waited. He expected Shiv to be climbing out any minute. He didn't know that Jack Monk Jr. had other ideas. Wasn't exactly how Reese planned it, but... He didn't care. One patchy is as good as another. beautiful women in the world. No, Mr. Monk, here he comes. Oh no, what do we do? Okay, oh. okay. <laughs> I'm gonna count to three. Okay, yes, okay. On three, you come up with a great idea. For women? It's jungle out there. Disorder and confusion everywhere. No one seems to care. Well, I do. Hey, who's in charge here? It's 